Copy and paste is one of the most useful features in Excel. It does have risks, but we'll cover those later. Let's just cover how you can do that. So what you'll see is we've got a, a nice little um, example here. You'll see there's a bit of text, there's some numbers, and there's a formula. So you've got your three main components, the three things that can go into a cell. And you'll see we format it as a currency. So there's some conditional formatting. We've got lines and some nice colors here. If we wanted to copy this, what we could do is we could highlight that area. And to create a copy, you can do one of a few things. So you can either go and make use of the um, ribbon. I can click on that. I'm just going to push Escape to get out of it. I could right click on the area and you'll see there's an item called Copy. Or, and the one we prefer, is if you go Control C, it copies, Control Copy, Control C. When it's in this stage, it means it's ready now to go somewhere. You now need to tell Excel where it must put this block. So I'm going to go over here. And again, we've got multiple ways of pasting this. So you'll see I can either go and click on the paste button here. When I click paste, it puts it there. I'm just going to undo. When you hovered over here, you would have seen it said Control V is the shortcut. So if I go Control V here, you'll see it paste it. And lastly, what you could have done is gone here, right click. And when you see that it's in a copy mode, all of these options will be available to you. And we can then use that one and we click paste and it pastes it. So there's many ways to do it. As mentioned, my, our preference is you highlight an area, you control C it, you copy it, you click on the destination and you control V. Let's just see what it's done. It's pretty much done exactly what it said. It took this and you'll see it's made an exact copy of it. So the word supplies, which looked like that in the cell, over here it says supplies, looks like that. The number 10 was a 10 type 10. Over here, the number 10 was a 10 type 10. This last one here has got a bit of a formula. So let's look here. What it's showing is that cell minus that cell. So you'll see it says C12 minus D12. When we look here, we'll see we've got a formula. But interestingly enough, it's not C12 minus D12. It's H12 minus R12. This will become very important for you later. But for now, just understand that the formula has been copied. So that's the first version of copy-paste, where what you want is everything you see must be moved into the paste area. Excel, besides this method, also has a number of special ways to paste, and the option is actually called Paste Special. So just to show you, I'm going to highlight this area, and I'm going to use our shortcut. So I'm going to hold, go Control, Shift, and Right Arrow, and then while it's still being held, down arrow. So we've quickly highlighted that area. I'm going to go Control C to copy it. And when I come here, I can either go up here and access the Paste Special, or over here, right click and access the Paste Special here. These icons do the same thing, but for now we're going to go the old traditional way. So I'm going to say Paste Special. And you'll see it gives us a whole bunch of options. So it's saying, what do you want to paste? Do you want to paste everything, all, which would be this one? Do you perhaps only want to paste formulas? So let's choose that. When I say OK, you'll see it gives us what looks similar. Can you see the word supplies, supplies, maintenance 23, 23? But it doesn't look quite as nice. What it has done is where there's text, it puts text. Where there's values, there's values. But where there's a formula, so we've got a formula over here, it maintains that formula. So the only thing that you lose here is this formatting. So notice the blue is gone, the formatting on the numbers is gone, the conditional formatting is gone. So this is where you want to copy and paste, but all this formatting is not really relevant for you. If we now go and do the same thing, although it is already copied, it's always safe. I'm going to say Control C. I'm now going to come here and we'll use this method this time, Paste Special. And I'm going to choose the option of Formats. 
When I choose format and I say OK, notice that nothing much seems to have happened. You'll see it is blue at the top and there's lines at the bottom. But what this has done is copied all the formats. So for example, if I now type in there, you'll see that text is white. I can put supplies in here. Notice that when I put my number zero, it immediately adopts the formatting that's here. So unlike this one, which was just very plain, this formatting is here. I can put another number here. And if I want, I can now put my formula here. And notice, not only did the number turn red, but immediately the arrows appeared. So what this is, is pretty much like the Format Painter. There's a shortcut here called Format Painter. What it does is it looks at the area and it makes this area replicate the format only. All numbers, text, formulas are ignored. An extremely popular version is the Paste Special Values. So that's where you have something like this. So again, I'm going to copy it. And now you want to paste the values. And what the issue is here is at the moment this is a moving target. If someone came here and typed 34, notice what will happen here, that number changes. If we want to now make this static, we want all these numbers to stay exactly still, I can copy it. And when I come here, I'm going to right click, I'm going to say Paste Special, and you'll see an option here called Values. When I say OK, you'll see it looks very similar to the Copy Paste Special formulas, but if you look carefully, this one here, can you see it's minus 13? It's a, it looks like it's a typed in number where the original number was actually a formula. So what we have here is a situation where everything is overwritten. You lose the formatting on all the items plus any formula is converted into its number and all you see is the number. Now let's look at some of the other options that are available to you. So again, I need to just copy something and you'll see here you ask for the paste special formulas and, and number formats so the problem with the, just the copy paste formulas is that although we're happy that the lines and the blue colors are gone it would have been nice to have these as currency two decimals etc so there is an option that allows that you right click paste special and on the right hand side here you'll see a few options so you can use the source theme you can ignore borders, we'll show you that just now. Look at column widths. And then you've got formulas and number formats and values and number formats. So if I choose formulas and number formats, when I say OK, what you'll see is it looks very similar to the paste as formulas. If I look at the actual formula cells, you'll see I've got a formula in it. The difference is that the actual number formats have been maintained. So the formats that were in the original, in this case currency with two decimal and red for negative, have been maintained. So I would say that this is a better option than that, because inevitably you need the numbers to look good. So that's one of the, the extra ones. What you could as well have done, is I could have right clicked Paste Special, and now I'm going to say Values and Number Formats. Exactly the same thing. But these now are numbers, but the formatting is a little bit more reasonable. You can see we're still in copy mode, so let's see what else we can do. I'm going to right click here, paste special. What we're now going to try is we're going to say we want to see absolutely everything except the borders. Now in this case here, the borders actually are these lines. So when I say OK, can you see we've got all the colors, all the formatting, etc. But the actual border, or in this case the underline, has disappeared. So you can actually do that because these borders often cause problems when you copy paste. They never quite look as nice as the first time. Just one more trick with the paste special. You'll see it's still in copy mode, but I'm just going to make sure. Control C, copy it. When I come down here, if I go to Pay Special, you'll see there's an option here called Transpose. 
Now what this is going to do, let me click OK, is you'll see it's taken our data, so data that looks like this, so I've got the headings at the top of the columns, descriptions and numbers, and it's transposed it. So where it went, housing, projected cost, actual costs, left to right, it now goes downwards. And if you look carefully, it does a pretty good job, because you'll see, let's take some numbers, gas, gas, you'll see it's 2235 minus 13, 2235 minus 13. So you sometimes need to take data that is maybe in portrait style and convert it to landscape style. You can use the paste special transpose to do this.